We continue to explore Grenada. One of the easiest and more exciting ways to travel here is to take the local bus. Each bus has a bouncer and a driver, and the bus lines run all over the island. The fees are low, and this day we travel all the way to St. George, which is the main capital on the island. The city changes depending if there is a cruise ship docked or not. This day, the streets were flowing with fruits, veggies and homemade souvenirs, meaning that the city was also filled with cruise ship guests. But the city has a nice atmosphere and is vibrant with colors. The other day when we uh, uh, came to Grenada, we anchored in uh, Prickly. It's very rolling in Prickly. Uh, so we changed to Woburn Bay, a uh, much nicer bay with no rolliness at all. And the water is super fresh. Uh, perfect for uh, testing our water maker again. But uh, when anchoring in Prickly, we in some way accidentally, accidentally bent our anchor uh, so we uh, this morning we started a project with changing the anchor to one of our spares it's a bit lighter but uh, the same type it's uh, 15 kilos our main anchor is 20 kilos uh, so we changed to that anchor and just when I was sitting in a dinghy Emmy was driving Linnea I was fixing with the chain and the new anchor the wind picked up a lot uh, we got the anchor down again, it was a bit crazy there when the wind picked up and uh, also the waves picked up a bit. Um, but we managed to get a new or spare anchor into the water again and uh, just after that the wind picked up to uh, almost 40 knots in the gusts, uh, crazy. Uh, but now the old anchor or main anchor is on the dinghy and I will take it into uh, the welder shop here. They have a hydraulic press so uh, hopefully we can uh, make it straight again. It's just a smooth bend so I think uh, it will be uh, okay. As you can see it's banana shape. Let's try to fix this anchor then. So I left the anchor uh, with the guy named Kobe, uh, it's at the welder shop. Uh, I should be back in an hour and they uh, can see, uh, and they will try to uh, straighten the anchor up. Uh, he didn't want me, uh, he didn't give me any price, he said uh, sheep, what's sheep here in Grenada, I don't know, yeah we will see. Took a small walk uh, just to check out the neighborhood since uh, the guy at the welder shop said it would take in around an hour. So I thought uh, I just take a small stroll, check the neighborhood, check the grocery store and some plumbing store. Uh, we need some filters for the water maker, so 
Uh, so I checked some hardware stores and stuff. I didn't find any filters yet. Uh, and now I'm heading back to uh, the marina and uh, welder store. Uh, hopefully the anchor is straightened up and it will be a easy and uh, cheap fix. It's been raining a lot this day, so the roads are really, really muddy and slippery and uh, the cars drive like crazy, so you better keep your eyes open so you don't get, get run over or something or slips in on the road. I don't know if flip-flops was the right uh, shoes. The anchor is back from the shop and I think it looks straight now again. I had to go back one time because it wasn't straight enough since Linnea's bow is a hole. So the anchor goes into a hole. It's quite important that the anchor is straight. Now I should check uh, it from cracks and stuff so it looks good before we put it on again. Good, so uh, hopefully it will fit in uh, Linnea's bow again now. Now it's just a, a tricky mounting part, taking off uh, the spare anchor and uh, putting back our main anchor again. Uh, the wind has dropped a bit so I think it will be uh, much easier now um, than when we uh, took it off. The weather continues to be like this on and off for a few days. We only paid 120 easy dollars, which is about 40 US, and we managed to change back to our main anchor between two squalls that afternoon. And we could sleep well again knowing that it was now straight and back in its place. We are out sailing today and it's just one of those super nice just sailing with the jib kind of sails and yeah there's not much wind but we're doing decent speed and we're just going a very short trip around the corner to a new anchorage Marcus just dove down to check the anchor. Uh, it was a bit tricky here, not completely sure that we actually stuck completely uh, or that we're not stuck in something other than uh, the bottom. So yeah, he is taking a snorkel, uh, snorkel swim to check that everything looks good. Good morning, I'm making some fry pan bread this morning and we have a full day ahead of us uh, so we're up quite early, didn't sleep very well but it's going to be a very exciting day. What you doing? Waiting for you to tie up the rope. 
so you know this feeling when you sleep the first night in a new place and there's all of these new sounds and things that disturb your sleep we kind of had that this night uh, we had gotten so used to all the wind blowing in the last anchorage that when we came here and it was all quiet we got disturbed of the like small small noises instead so yeah not the best uh, best night um, we just chose this anchorage because there's a supposed to be a really cool uh, like underwater statue park just around the corner here just a small dinghy ride so uh, that's what we're doing today and uh, probably this afternoon we will uh, uh, change anchorage again um, move uh, a bit more north because right now we have a pretty good uh, weather window and then uh, the wind will pick up again so we will have a few days where um, we can't move so yeah we're doing it a bit fast uh, these days and uh, and then we can take it slow again Rukust. Breakfast. Robust. We are getting ready to jump in the dinghy and heading over to this uh, snorkeling place. And we're just going to lock up the boat and then we're done. Shop. They, uh, the ship here, they are in the middle of unloading uh, fuel, so they have uh, pipes, uh, floating um, floating pipes uh, that goes ashore. So we had to go around, uh, go around it. Well, there's the first for everything. Well, this was really a popular spot and we arrived just at the same time as a charter boat so there it looks like there are like thousands of people in the water with the noodles with the noodles that's how you know that they are charter boats they uh, snorkel with the, the noodles snorkel get on so let's go I totally had to wear there are uh, so many people here. It was a really cool place to uh, snorkel and uh, dive down a bit. Uh, a bit like mushy in the water, so not the best and clear sight, but pretty okay. We are uh, soon ready to set sail. Just going to put the pillows in uh, the 
this here where we have our plates and mugs and uh, glasses uh the pillows uh cabinets yeah, the cabinets uh the pillows will make so that the glasses won't move if we have a sudden gust like healing over a lot they shouldn't move either way but yeah, just to be safe it's a bit cloudy but we are ready to leave Marcus is uh, down in the anchor locker or he has his head down there but uh, yeah soon we run away Ta -da! anchor is up we're on the way great great whoop a boom As you probably can hear, the engine is uh, running. Uh, we had expected quite light winds here uh, behind the island. Uh, we are heading north, so right now uh, the entire Grenada Island is uh, blocking the wind. So we have like two to five knots of wind, which is very little. And we are motor sailing with the mainsail up and the engine running. Uh, so that's what we're doing for the first couple of hours and then once we are, are cleared of the island hopefully we can sail a bit how are you liking your new hat i like my new hat a lot it uh, started to rain so i jumped in here to take some cover and uh, marcus uh, changed into uh, swim gear and it's ready to tackle the rain it looks like it could get just as wet as yeah, a shower started raining shower now it's raining they're waiting waiting for it for uh for a half an hour now yeah, it's quite dark, so now it's raining. I actually should suggested that we should turn on the autopilot, but uh, the captain thought he needed a shower. Ah, cookies! We have about 8 nautical miles left, uh, we have been sailing 11 and the biggest problem is that uh, the wind direction is just exactly where we're going. So as you can hear we're still motor sailing, uh, we're doing some tacks back and forth to keep close to the island uh, because there's a lot less current uh, the closer you are. So, for as long as it's possible, uh, we're going to stay like this and then it's just a few miles across to the next island. Beating our way forward, it's uh, kind of a sucky job uh, because we have a lot of current against us. So we have both the wind and the current coming from the direction where we're going. So um, yeah, but we have been sailing for the past hour or so and we are making some progress forward. are getting super close uh, unfortunately we just got a radio call from our buddy boat uh, they are a bit ahead of us and they said that it's rolly and pretty full so we will try to stay here anyway try to squeeze in somewhere and um, yeah we will probably have a terrible night if it, the rolliness doesn't calm down but it will be for one night and then we're off again tomorrow so uh, yeah 
it should be fine. So we made it just before the sun dropped uh, completely. It's a bit too dark already to anchor properly, but we managed to find a pretty good spot. Uh, we are in front of all the other boats. Uh, so we went really close to shore uh, in hopes that it wouldn't uh, swing so much here and uh, roll. And so far it looks uh, pretty good. Uh, we definitely roll less uh, than the other boats. I don't know if you can see behind me. <laughs> it's crazy rolly and we are almost completely still. So uh, definitely good to uh, get this close. Um, not the best uh, sandy bottom here. It's a bit hard sand. So it's hard for the anchor to dig in. But we are here. It will do for the night. Uh, we will turn the anchor alarm on or the anchor watch just to be safe. And uh, yeah, it should be pretty okay, I think. And I really need dinner now. So this island was quite a uh, fail to stop at. Um, we had read that it should be a quite beautiful hike. And on the picture, this looked like the most incredible spot. But it's been quite rolly, even though we managed to get quite far in. Uh, so the only thing we do now, we are making some water because the water is really clear here. And where we're going, uh, it's more like in a bay close to a city, so not the same water quality. So we're filling up the water tanks. I have managed to do, uh, get some editing done. And after lunchtime, we can uh, set sail again. It's a real pity that we cannot uh, go to land. Uh, yeah, we can, but I think it's uh, it will be a bit dangerous with the swells. But the island looks really cool. Uh, there are no houses. Yeah, we saw some huts when we came in, but it's more or less uninhabited. Uh, so it's really cool wildlife island. Uh, a lot of trees and it's super green. So. Uh, if it just had been a more calm day in this anchorage, I think it would be super nice with a hike here. We are soon to be the last boat staying here. Uh... The first boats left with uh, the first sign of light this morning and uh, now it's 10.30 and we're the last one here. I think this will be the perfect time to end this episode. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. And like always, these videos are made possible thanks to our Patreons. So if you want to join the crew as well, just check out the link below and you can sign up to support the future production of uh, these videos. A big thank you for that. And until we see you again next week, fair winds everyone. Bye.